but for this demonstration let's uh, choose only two and we can simply click on this ok you can see our tree is ready welcome to another tutorial of a video series on genome wide analysis in the previous video we have done domain architecture analysis and in this video i will show you how we can perform phylogenetic analysis using two combined species although you can also perform using only one species but in this video because we were making a comparison of rice bromo domain family and arabidopsis bromo domain family so let me take you to this mega software and we will be using this mega software for this phylogenetic analysis so let me show you how you can create alignment and how you can build a phylogeny tree using this software so first of all you need to align your sequences so here are the different sequences you can see uh, we can go to our previous folder as you know we have created this folder and uh, let me create a new folder here as well for phylogenetic analysis so we can write its name phylogenetic analysis yeah and uh, you can see we have created one folder so now we will be using these amino acid sequences from rice and arabidopsis you can see these are belong to the arabidopsis genome and these belong to the rice genome so what you can do so first you need to perform one alignment so you can simply go to this mega tool and uh, if you don't have you can freely download this software and uh, you can install and after that you can simply click on this alignment and uh, you can click on this first option which is edit or build alignment so here are the different options you can see if we, you want to create new alignment so you can click on the first one and if you want to save any previous alignment session or retrieve any previous sequence file so you can use this option because we are going to create new alignment option so i will click on the first one and here you know it is asking whether you are building for dna or protein sequences for alignment so because we are using protein sequences of arabidopsis and rice so we will use this option so here you can see uh, now we can uh, directly copy and paste our sequences from arabidopsis and rice genome so we can go here and here you can see here we have arabidopsis bromo domain protein if you don't know from where we get all these sequences so i recommend you you can watch previous videos first and we can simply copy and just use control c and here we will just use control v for paste you can see here our all protein you can see atbr1 to atbr27 we have pasted so similarly we will go back again here and we will copy all these sequences from rice genome as well and we can simply click here and we will use again control v for paste so you can see here now we have pasted all the sequences from rice and similarly all the sequences from rice genome so here you can see this is the extra so we can simply uh, delete this part and now we can perform alignment so there are two different options uh, for alignment so one is this uh, if you will click on this you can see here is one option align by cluster and one is align by muscle so i would recommend you to uh, align by cluster because in this uh, research article which we are uh, following so they have used uh, this alignment by cluster so i will simply click on this alignment by cluster so they said nothing selected for alignment do you want to select all so we will simply click on this select all so and uh, here are the different pairwise alignment 
and multiple alignment gap penalty and opening penalty so we will uh, keep it to the default and we will simply click on this ok so you can see now it is performing pairwise alignment and then later on it will perform multiple alignments so it may take few uh, minutes uh, depending upon the performance of your computer so let's wait for a while until it finish its alignment yeah you can see our alignment is finished and you can see uh, all the sequences from rice and rapidopsis genome have been aligned you can see the similar amino acids are aligned so we can simply just save this alignment we can go to this session and we can save this session uh, and we can yeah we know that we have created one folder so we can save this session for bromo domain alignment yeah you can see we have just saved this so now after you have saved so you can now finish this task and uh, because once you have done with the alignment now you can go to this phylogenetic tree so here are the different uh, phylogeny method one is you can see the construct or uh, the test maximum likelihood uh, tree method and one is neighbor joining map tree method so although people are using uh, maximum likelihood tree method as well but i would recommend you to use this neighbor joining tree method because the this research article which we are following and most of the studies use this neighbor joining method so we can simply go to this neighbor joining method and we can go to our this folder we can select here all files you can see here we have bromo domain alignment we can simply open this and here you can see uh, here we are performing uh, our analysis and we are performing phylogeny test so we need to select here the bootstrap method and you can see uh, the bootstrap method uh, once we will select this so it will ask you to select number of bootstrap replication so in most of the studies uh, number of the replications are 1000 and uh, even uh, in this research article which we are following they have used 500 as the bootstrap value so but for this demonstration video i will not use uh, 500 because if i will use 500 it will take too long time and depending upon the performance of your computer it may take even up to days so uh, for this demonstration i will write only number of bootstrap replications to but I would recommend you to choose at least 500 or 1000 is more recommended. Uh, for, but for this demonstration, let's uh, choose only two and we can simply click on this OK. So you can see uh, once you will click on this, you can see our tree is ready. So now we can uh, play with this. Uh, our phylogenetic tree you can see here here we can choose uh, taxon names if you want all these names so you can simply uncheck this and you can see once it is unchecked the taxon names will be disappeared and similarly you can also uh, change its layout uh, you can simply click on the tree style or anywhere you want to change you can see and if you want to change it like if you want to change it to circle so you can simply click on this circle so it will change into the circle format so uh, let's go back and change it to rectangular shape which is uh, i think so uh, this would be the beautiful and we will be using this shape in our research articles and from here you can uh, select the tree width like this type of width and from here you can select the tree height if you want to increase the tree width you can see it is increasing and decreasing the tree width 
and similarly if you want to show the branch length or not so you can simply check or uncheck according to your need and from here you can select your fonts and uh, from here you can select the distance from the node i would recommend you that uh, once you have created this so you can simply go to this image format and you can save it as a pdf file and uh, from here let's uh, yeah we can write it as phylogenetic analysis and you can simply click on this ok so uh, now you can see uh, we can go back to our folder and you can see this PDF is generated and we can uh, simply uh, directly use it up uh, use it in our research articles and here you can see uh, here are the different bootstrap values if you bootstrap values in the percentage like uh, what it's mean actually uh, if you can see if you will perform 100 replications so out of 100 100 times it is possible that they will come in the one clades so you can see here are the different major clades and sub clades you can see this overall one is divided into two further major clades you can see this branch is divided into two major and you can see this major clade is dividing into two and then these clades are further divided into sub clades and these sub clades are divided into further branches so uh, as we have previous data so we can also uh, label them according to their orthologous groups you can see uh, now we have proteins from rice and uh, arabidopsis as well so you can see here are some from arabidopsis you can see uh, that atbr10 atbr12 and atbr18 are in one clade so in this way you can perform your phylogenetic analysis and if you want uh, to save it uh, in more colored format and you want to use a uh, few more options so I would recommend you that you can save it so you can go to file and uh, you can save its new width format uh, including the branch length and bootstrap values and you can save it in your folder for phylogenetic analysis and uh, as you know uh, we can use this new width file format uh, using our ITOL website and as you know that there is nothing special in the ITOL website uh, but if you want to make it more colorful so you can watch this video and can make your tree in the form of colorful diagrams so hopefully uh, this video will be helpful in performing phylogenetic analysis so if you have still any question in the use of this mega software or drawing your phylogenetic tree please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye